called Not Being the Dogs, Not Be Eating the Dogs. Um, one day Not Be, he got himself a big old chill, a big old buffalo. Brought it to his lodge, he's cooking, you know, he's singing, uh, having himself a good indigenous afternoon, <laughs> just cooking. And uh, the smoke started wafting up the top of his TV, and a dog smelled it. Uh, and a dog. So the dog came over. He was outside uh, and Apu's teepee and started howling, Awoo, Apu, Spumu, get to help me. Oh, get to eat. I need to eat. And Apu said, Sa, no, stay outside, you stink. Apu went on cooking, you know, singing, hey, a good old indigenous afternoon. And then more dogs showed up outside his teepee. They're all howling, Awoo, Apu, Spumu, get to help us, we need to eat. Not the side, you stink, stay on the side. <laughs> Pretty soon, all the dogs showed up outside Nappy's TV. Nappy, spum up the now, help us. Nappy, side, you stink, stay outside. But all of them were howling. So you can imagine how annoying this must have been. So Nappy finally, ah, but good. All right, I'll let you come into my TV. But you stink, you need to take your bones off and leave them outside. All the dogs looked at each other a little weird. All right, they're hungry, right? So they took their bums off, left them outside, and came in to eat. Now we started cooking for them. I didn't realize how many dogs there were in the prairie, right? So I started adding more meat, and more meat, so the fire got bigger and bigger to finally burn out. This whole TV started on fire. All the dogs were running back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she was yelling, Run for your lives! <laughs> In the melee, all the dogs, well, in their haste to get away, the dogs grabbed the first bum they could find and slapped it on and they took off out of the square. Well, to this day, you can still see the dogs looking for their bums. <laughs> <laughs>